What up Dapper Squad, we're back with more One Piece. Today we're doing Long Ring Long Land Part 1. We are doing the One Pace edition, so I am going to be kind of speeding through this arc just to flow a little more seamlessly into Water 7, but I am going to be reading the manga alongside of it so I know exactly what happens. I'm going to be reading the One Piece manga just in general alongside everything that happens from now on. So if you guys are interested in seeing me read that or reading alongside with me, if you guys want me to stream that, let me know down in the comments. Other than that, this is the first episode of a new opening. So the full length version, which is normally available only on Patreon, is available for everyone. So click that link in the description. Come back here for the review when you're done. And then consider checking out that Patreon if you guys want the early access or the uncut versions of all the One Piece goodness in the future other than that like i said this is part one of one pace it should be three episodes and then the next part should be three episodes as well i think this should smooth i think this should transition pretty smoothly into water seven i am very excited thank you guys for working with me being patient let's hop right on into the first three episodes part one let's do it adventure on a long island long ring long land right ship spotted at 12 o'clock there's no flag or sails. How is it moving with no sails? What the? Oh, what? All right. Yeah, we got to wonder now that we're being chased by some sea monkeys. Is that ship going to make it? Is that ship going to be okay? So they went from being very timid to <laughs> infighting to about to get smoked by this wave. They have no teamwork or coordination whatsoever. I mean, didn't the, the song for the new opening say, let's ride a giant wave? They're dead. Are they actually dead? They're sinking to the abyss of the... That's Davy Jones' locker down there. Motivation or organization. Yeah, they were discombobulated. That actually is a valid reason, you know? Okay. Valid rebuttal. And a, I mean, shifts are very expensive and cost resources, you know? It could be like merchants. But they had... Yeah, they had scars. They were quick to say, let's steal their gold. And they had cannons. I would think they were pirates as well. Yeah, see this already. Fog? No, no, no. I get paranoid when I'm driving in fog on the freeway or on the street. Imagine sailing and you not being able to see like a sh an island, a rock, anything. See, look how fast they're able to disappear. What the hell? Yeah, if we're playing Minecraft, it's like you go on a shore and you see the plains, you know, meadows. It would be nice after being on sea, especially dealing with Navarone and the G8, even though it's not canon. Getting on land, you know, being in the sky, everything, being on solid land. Whoa. So it's not just the trees that are tall and skinny. <laughs> don't, say, don't, just, don't just cling to them. It is some sort of bear. Long vegetables. Is that a pepper? An apple. That's a long apple. Ooh. yeah that is it oh my god the length of these creatures yeah i feel like just walk looking at this is making you guys long too oh no it's not a giraffe it's just a horse it's a long Horse, long land, long ring, long dingling land horse. Oh, I like the sound it makes. Kind of adorable. I always forget Chopper can communicate for us, Shelly. Yes. So we snapped the bamboo tree. Is it a monster? Is it an animal? 
I cut a bamboo tree and a spirit appeared. I don't know if it's a spirit, but it's an old man and... These are some crazy anchors. Like claws? It's a foxy, so it's like a fox paw. But okay. All we want is a showdown. Nomad Tonjeet. Tonjeet. Those are his stilts? Oh my god. You know how far this man just fell? That's what I'm saying. You could have died, sir. Oh my god. There's no way. There's no way. On some Gaimon shit? Imagine the whole time you're just getting higher and higher. How would you guys get down? I would have to stick the stilts in some place I know was secure stationary and then just slide down. Even though I'd be afraid I'd snap, you know? Very long duck. A plat. Of course. <laughs> Dash. So, wiener dog. Dash hoon. Dash hound. Snow leopard. Snow leopard. Yeah, that's awkwardly looking. They're like, uh, air nomads, airbenders. They up and left. Makes sense. Long ring, long land. Singling, long land. Oh. Long ring, long land. Interesting. That's cool. I actually like that concept. Of 10 years, there should be three islands ahead. Twenty years is insane. Ten years already is insane. Yes. Proper. <laughs> Aww. That's I was saying Shelly's very very cute. Very beautiful horse. Horse. You ever seen those videos of a dog that's been lost for a few weeks or like a month or even years and reun that uh has a reunion with his owner and they go crazy? It's like that. They get so happy. Hell yeah. Shout out to Tonjeet and shout out to Shelly. Wow. Like I said, Shelly is a real one. A loyal creature right there. Oh, the sad, like, nays and whinnies. That's sad. Like Tanji said, through the rain, sleet, snow, wind, whatever it be, you stuck, stuck there, stayed true. And I got nothing but respect, nothing but respect for that creature. Oh, and then it cuts back to like how it, with the music going on. Come on, I love this like triumphant uh, orchestral version of We Are. We Are is one of my favorite anime openings of all time. It just encompasses the vibe of One Piece so much. That goes hard. That was far. Now what in what? Bro, if Shelly dies after all that, I'll be livid. I swear to God. Who the fuck just shot? Oh, it's a net. Oh my God. Thank the Lord. I was worried. Like Shelly got shot, shot like through a vital organ. The horse is mine now. Yeah, you are already on the bad, on a bad first impression with Luffy. Are these the Foxy pirates? I've seen him in art for this, for this arc. Hunting is nothing more than entertainment. Yeah, you're about to get knocked out. Yeah, because they've already had interactions with the rest of our gang. 
She kind of gives me VV impressions with the hair, but definitely not, you know. A Davy backfight? The hell is that? What? It's like uh, in Fast and Furious when you put pink slips for your car up on a race, you put the lives of your crew members, you, whoever wins, it takes crew members from the other people. Yeah. Andre's eat. Whoa! He pulled out the blick. Yeah, I'm saying. I feel him though. They will fuck you up though. The moment two captains are in agreement. Bum, 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 bum. Irate Island. Is that a real island? Irate Paradise? Like Nassau in the Caribbean? In the name of Davy Jones. Mm. Now, I don't want to push pause, but I am very curious because I have not the most extensive pirate previous knowledge, but I have a good little bit from certain things like pirates of the caribbean and black sails especially for more like a realistic pirate take um because that's like an adaptation on actual pirate history and stuff like that but i'm curious if they do anything on davy jones only reason i say that they have a twist on blackbeard with which is like a mix between blackbeard and whitebeard in this which i'm very curious about but davy jones at least in pirate and sea folklore is like was a pirate but turned into like some sort of mythical presence supernatural presence and this show does not shy away from the supernatural i am very curious are we going to see gods are we going to see davy jones are we going to see other like oh i'm so curious about that don't actually tell me please don't but like i'm just gonna let you know venting my mind to you guys if the enemy ship has no one that we want they can instead be stripped of their jolly roger and you can't put it back on that's why that ship was jolly rogerless and pride i see it's a crazy game to be able to literally steal good members yeah but sucks that you're not the one in charge of that you know it luffy and luffy seems like the type that would do it just like that before we can even finish our discussion on the matter they've gone to an agreement and we're doing it He's like, hey, go get, go out there and get him. I know. <laughs> All right, we're doing it. We're committed. Oh, are we having a whole oh, celebration? We're having a whole thing about this. They got Frankfurts. They got food stands. They have bets, odds, mini games, a stage. Five jumbo fried buckwheats, please. Tanji's over here buying food. An old pirate cursed by the devil. See, I'm very curious if we ever touch on that. I'm very curious. And I forget the name of the devil that cursed um, him, but it was his lover, right? I love the, the lore and world building of this so much over here determining the roles and how valuable they are right i'll be honest you stop you'd probably be the the last i would take nami would be relatively early you know donut race usap nami Rogi ring okay zoro sanji chopper okay i'm loving the teams combat luffy okay I hope Robin can pull some shenanigans with her devil fruit right now. The barrel tiger. <sighs> so we're going to have like live commentary during. And I'm assuming because this is a donut race, we're going against, we're going around the long ring islands. But we're, oh damn bro, the editing is so crazy. You got to get into the next one. God damn it. Okay, we're on to the next part, part episode two, technically, I guess. You know what I'm trying to say. Explain how the race works, okay? Did their boat sink? 
All weapons are allowed, even guns, cannon, explosive, cutlasses, or anything. Uh, fair enough. We are pirates. That's what I'm saying. Robin hopefully is going to be very useful with her... I almost said her quirk like we're watching My Hero. Theoretically, I think Robin, as soon as the race starts, could just do the classic Robin... You know? What are they doing? Are they explosives? You're in a landmine of explosive barrels. And if your boat sinks, automatic disqualification. So you guys are adding variables of your control into the race between us? Kind of cheap, but okay. We're all about getting over obstacles. Fishman. He does look like a fishman. Sea surface splitter. Okay, Moses. Eight. Oh. Right into Monta. Oh, we're just trailing along them. Not cheating. A long coral reef. Coral reefs are already crazy, but a long one? And a whirlpool. Okay. Hamburg is crazy travel speed. With Monda, it's like they have a Sharpedo, if you guys know Pokemon at all. They're just kind of broken in the water. Now they're literally kind of manipulating them to be way more cool with joining the Foxy Pirates. <laughs> yeah, exactly, see? Tandy's like, I'll switch right now. Zoro's like, hey, these guys are cool. They're cool drinking all day. Besides the people currently engaged in a game, we're all having a good time. And right now, for the first time, we've taken a lead. Oh, this is the master of obstruction, Foxy coming in. Devilish interference from you know who? What is he, Voldemort now? Chill out. Bro, the sound she be making. All right, Porsche, chill out. We're flowing with it. This is a maze. Only one correct channel go through them all. The right one. This is the pro navigator at work. That's why we love our girl. That's why we love our girl. He is a fisherman, so their swimming would definitely be enhanced. <laughs> They're merging. No, it might be Foxy again. Good, good, good. <laughs> What, as in like a fake grandma who needs help on the side? <laughs> you think we would fall for that? What? Bias commentary. Cutie wagon is caught up. Wow, they're taking the lead very fast. What are we going to do? Let's just fucking shoot him and kill him or something. I don't know. Guys, what are we going to do? It's a fake goal. That one would have got me, I can't lie. Fuck. I feel, I feel like I'm an idiot. That one got me. You guys fell for your own trap. What's going on? The purity of your heart is dazzling. Who would be so evil? Long bamboo cape. This is the home stretch. I feel like we're watching pod racing and like Phantom Menace. I need to rewatch that. It's a great race right there. 
Oh, they actually are catching up, though. That speed they have. Yeah, what the hell is that? Flower shurikens. Round one of the Davy back fights. Who's winning? So you need to win a majority of the games, right? So of the three games, we just need to win best of three. So we need hopefully us to win and then at least Luffy or maybe Zoro, Chopper, and Sanji as well. Oh no. Slow beam? He can force you to slow down so Zoro's team and Lin Luffy are gonna have to win because that was bullshit we would have won that too had they not cheated so every game is a crew member slow-mo photon Whatever this light touches. Alive? Liquid? What? Specifically only speed. That's crazy. It does sound pretty ridiculous, but we just saw it in action. This is the grand line. That, in terms of combat like that, is very handy. As if nothing happens, so it doesn't lose any momentum or speed. That's good to know. The kinetic energy stays the same. Oh, does it still have the same impact even though it's slowed down? It looks like it did, but that could just be because of it's an explosion. Now for the long-awaited spoils, who are we taking? So I'm assuming now that the new rules I know, we lose someone this round, next round we get them back, and then the next final round we take someone from their team. I would love for that to happen. My guess is a chopper. He's one of the most handy. He's probably to be the first I would take. You, if you don't have a navigator, eventually you can get there. If you don't have a chef, you can make something to eat. But if you don't have a doctor, you're fucked. And a, it's a rare. He just wants him because he's a reindeer, talking reindeer. It's the worst look I've ever seen on Chopper. He's, I feel bad for my boy. Zoro's not worried because he knows we're about to win him back. With the foxy head on there as well? Nah, nah, I'm not having this. That's my boy, Tony Tony. I would literally console him right here. I'd be like, don't worry, Chopper. We're getting you back. I love that dedication and loyalty, though. My man would sail and be with no others. Oh! Zoro's not lying. He's not wrong, you know? that's honestly very tough love but it's the tough love that chopper needed to hear he's one to take in that kind of advice and actually take it to heart see that's why i love chopper he's one of the first ones willing to admit he's wrong and to grow chopper's one of the that's why i love him so much come on now we need zoro sanji and fucking chopper was on his team though Fuck, what do we do no replacements allowed so they knew that going into this and the groggy ring is now it's only sanji and zoro so we're already down a man we got much machoke much no machop machoke and machamp groggy monsters how do they fit on the ship? Hamburg. Pickles. Hamburger. So beef. Pickles. Big pan. The Wotan. Half fishman. Half giant. Pan. They use your pan to kick the cook the hamburg and put the pickles in. How are we going to knock him into the fucking... What? In the hell? 
All right, on to the last episode of part one of Long Ring Long Land. And we're starting the groggy ring, okay? Big pan. Half fishman, half giant. You literally are. You are currently wearing it. Come on. You guys do need to win. We need to get Chopper back. You can't lose someone else. Oh, that's the title. Yeah, not Broggy or Dory. Not as big, but because they're a mixed breed. This is gonna be a long groggy ring match. Good work, Nami. Good work, Nami. Kind of reminds me of pro bending from Legend of Korra, you know? I love very unique sports and very different sports. What? All right, hopefully their overconfidence and their jolliness will be our advantage. No time limit. The first team to score wins. All right, whistles blown. Match starts. They don't realize Sandy's strength, though. Good dodge, going right after Big Pan. Ooh, the mucus from being a fisherman. He's a Wotan, right? Wotan of Loach origin. I need to know more details. Give me any non-spoilery Wotan details you guys can give me in the comments. I appreciate that. Unk pass. And he has webbed hands. Ooh. He's going flying. And they're going deep right near the ring. Nichols is now trying to fuck with Zoro while Hamburg can deal with getting Sanji into the ring. Oh. The mid-air scoop to the alley-oop gorilla throw? That was kind of clean. Now he's a Beyblade? I mean, these guys are fucking it's like every sport in one basketball volleyball baseball football soccer these guys are fucking pros so he's about to slam dunk saji into the goal but zoro's throwing fucking pickles ever been in chick-fil-a got that fucking spicy chicken sandwich so fuck these pickles Hell yeah. Sanji's got his pride. He's not letting this happen. Okay, now it's just us and Big Pan. Big Perm? Big Worm? Now imagine if Zoro had his swords. Woo! They'd be cut down. Oh! oh. Watch out, guys. Why it's not over yet? Does he have spikes on his goddamn shoes? What is it, just clothing? Oh, he's just looking the other way. Second longest yard when the ref was going against him and he threw the football at his nuts twice. Where he's giving us a yellow card. Oh my god. We still got Big Pan attacking. Come on. Yeah, you went from just spikes to now. 
I'm livid. All you needed to say, Nami. None. This is how you mean back into the game. Now we're just running. Oh, dolphin dive. How flexible is this guy? <sighs> These guys are annoying. Such bullshit. Such bullshit. Okay. We want to talk about volleyball spikes? Hinata would be proud. Man's going for the... Ah... Oh, wow. He just tanked it, too. Zoro's actually getting fucked up. And I have no concern. Oh, oh no. These guys are actually OP with their coordination and just sizes. Now they're just fighting them, fucking with them. They're not even like just immediately going for the win. They just want to deal damage. A spectacular team attack. That was uh very well coordinated. If they just put Sanji in the ring, it's over. And they get another one, but are we gonna get back up? How are we gonna do this? With the music going on? Oh, they're heated. They're finally gonna work together. Lend me a hand for lend me, lend me a hand for ten seconds. He's like that's about as long as I can give you. Now they are two of the strongest people we have on the team, the Straw Hats. But they're always fighting each other. Teamwork wise, if they work together, this might be a whole different ball game. Look at their uh, body language right now. Yeah, what what does that mean? I mean, we know Hamburg, Pickles, and Large Pan. Is that like their ultimate move? Pulls out two clubs for tenderizing the meat. Pulls out two swords for cutting the condiments. Brine them up like a burger patty. Slice them good like fresh pickles. Green lettuce and yellow cheese. And you get a burger patty. Triple weapon attack, I see. Zoro does not care, neither does Sanji. It really isn't fair though, because if we use weapons, they would red card us. So it's like, how do we even fight fire with fire? We can't. You have to let them cheat and just deal with it and be at a disadvantage. Like, what? Hashe, okay. Beautiful series of kicks. Not even done yet. Not even done yet. Mixed veggies. And just like that, Hamburg. Got tenderized, if you know what I'm saying. He's done. Uh, 
no sword style. Dragon. Twister. I don't know how Zoro did that, but that shit was gangster. He got fucked up by Pickles. And then with Big Pan, that was a fucking crazy kick. He was falling over, but Sanji kicked him so hard that he's back to being upright. And now Zoro comes in to deal the final blow. Pickles trying to stop him. Pickles trying to stop him. That's what you get for not looking at the fucking match. Hey, he didn't do it. It was a... Uh... <laughs> Good, we stole him. No more false. <laughs> shout out Robin. Oh, shout out Nami. We know she's uh, great at thieving. Launch off his foot. Air Force power shoots. It's like some X-Men shit when uh, Colossus throws Logan. Come on. I love when I can make a last stand reference. Oh, beautiful, 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 beautifully done. <laughs> and just like that, Mosshead, aka Lettuce, and Shokugeki no Sanji, aka Cheese Boy, want us round two, the groggy fucking ring. I like that. <laughs> Hell yeah. All right, so that was the end of part one of Long Ring Long Land. Thoroughly enjoying it so far. Now, in terms of how it compares to the actual anime adaptation and it compares to the manga, I'll have to let you guys know later down the line because I am definitely going to be reading this. Uh, and I also, it's definitely going to be in my own time. I plan on watching all the fillers as well. As little do you guys know, growing up, I knew nothing of a concept of canon or filler at all. So any episode of Naruto that aired on Toonami or Cartoon Network or Adult Swim, I watched and I watched the, all the fillers, assuming they were real, whether they <laughs> went to the land of a hidden tea or whatever. And genuinely, as a kid, they were a really good time. So I'm hoping I get some and G8 was amazing. So I'm hoping I get some. And I've heard some of the bleach fillers pretty damn good. So I'm hoping in my own time, I get some fun with some of the filler. But uh, all that aside, I am thoroughly enjoying this arc. I only said that because I don't know how this compares to the anime adaptation, but the pacing of this is fantastic. At least one pace is. Um, we're already in the, over the second match. Shout out to Tanji. Shout out to Shelly. We're going against the Foxy Pirates. Uh, I'm really enjoying these games. I'm really enjoying the addition of Davy Jones Locker and obviously more Oda world building. Very curious if we're ever going to see that. I go into something. Um, shout out to uh, uh, Robin, Usopp, and Nami. Even though they lost, they should have won. Huge shout out to Sanji and uh, Zoro for winning that. We got Chopper back, but now we got uh, Luffy doing his combat solo mission. I'm assuming that's going to be against Foxy. So this should be a good, good final part. And then all you guys have said before we get into Water 7, uh, there's a final part that introduces a very important character in the show. So I am assuming it might be one of the guys in the opening I've seen, but I really don't know anything else. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this first part of Long Ring Long Land. Make sure you guys uh, tune into the next part. Check out that Patreon for early access and the full uncut versions. I appreciate y'all immensely. Have a great day, Dapper Squad. Peace out.